Have you ever felt like you could do and be much more in life? But days are just passing, every day feels pretty much the same and you have no idea what to do to change that. Well, we definitely have been there. But through these three things that we will share with you today, we were able to start living a life full of experiences and happiness. And of course in this video we will give you actionable steps so you can start to get more out of your life as well. Be curious. Do you remember when you were just a child and everything, especially new, felt so amazing and you felt so curious to try new things, new foods, meet new people, want to know why exactly this happens in this way? Well, I think that we shouldn't just that be in our childhood, but still in our adulthood as well, because that brings so many new opportunities when you seek new information, you want to try new things. In this helps a lot to understand that uh, we don't know a lot, nobody really knows a lot. Even with this YouTube channel we are not trying to be the expert here, but just uh, like documenting the journey of these being curious and uh, learning new things and finding a way actually to get more out of our lives. <laughs> exactly. So for example from new cultures you can learn so much if you are not afraid of them and think that my culture is just the best, but try to learn why people will have their own traditions and customs and why they do those things, what is in them that makes them happy. By doing this process, being curious, you will start to understand more like who you are and who you want to be in life. Many times we have all these prejudices against a lot of stuff. When I was a kid, I had <laughs> prejudices against pizza. <laughs> I didn't want to eat it <laughs> because I had never tasted it. I thought it must be horrible. You know, I was just <laughs> afraid. <laughs> Look at that face. But then I did it once and now it's basically my favorite food. So this was a great example of... <laughs> let's of, uh, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's say I was... Where? In Finland? Yeah. But I was a child. You know? Yes. I forgive you for your past. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That makes me feel better. After this little confession of the pizza, feel free to share in the comment section if there's any prejudice that you had, but then after all, you change your mind and realize that you like the thing that you thought you would never like. Yeah. And here are some actionable steps for you. Don't immediately judge. First, strive to understand. Sometimes try things you have never tried before. Adopt the growth mindset. This is absolutely my favorite because it's what really changed my life. Through this I understood that there are no limits, that failure is a lesson and that feedback is not always negative but an opportunity to learn more what we can actually improve. You can become good in anything or bad at anything, it's just how much effort you want to put, how much you want to learn these, these things, receive feedback and try to learn from that. The growth mindset in this is a key factor because we'll always help you to uh, stop thinking that you are better or worse than some other people, but you actually start to enjoy your journey no matter at which point of the journey you are. You are not looking for the final destination, but you are striving to to grow in uh, each step of the process. You are not wanting to be the perfect already, you are just accepting I am who I am. This is my level now, but I can always become better. For example, I started this new job last week and the environment is amazing. The team is super welcoming and super open-minded and also understanding. But then I got the inside of this loop in my mind that made me think that I'm not good enough, that I will not be good enough. And this is a wrong mindset because time will teach me and it's my decision if I want to learn from it or I want to get stuck in the idea that I will never be good enough. When facing problems, try to find a solution rather than complaining or give up. And do your best, it's enough, even if the outcome isn't what you wished. And by the way, if you're a fan of very actionable steps and want to start creating your dream life, make sure to check out this series on our channel. Strive for balance. 
With this, we don't mean just balance between work and life. This for us means so much more. It means, for example, balance between all the areas of life. So the balance is here to not put too much effort in one of these areas while neglecting another. So it means that once you're working, for example, a lot in your health and fitness, still you are trying to enrich yourself from the emotional point of view or try to study if that is what helps you to get in the career you want and then at the same time nurturing the relationship with your friends i mean a little bit of effort in everything will help you to reach that balance so there was a time in which we were not putting effort in each area of life but just in one of that when we reached almost the top of it we didn't feel that fulfilled. The other thing is, you need to understand that the happiness is happening to you right now. It's not just in the future when you have amazing levels in all these areas. The happiness is not just around the corner. Mm. I mean, sometimes it can be, but usually not. <laughs> and, and as well, long-term consistency. So you don't push too much at anything. It's not that you have to do everything at the same time, just a little bit that makes you feel happy, makes you feel that your life is fulfilling. Every day you can take pauses to enjoy and see how far I have come, what is the improvement I have done, to be grateful of the things that you already have in your life. And this will help you so much in your own personal development journey to enjoy the journey and not just wish that you were in the end of it. Consider to focus on improving all the areas of life and not just one. And then remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Ciao. Ciao.